I'm Ellie. I'm a long distance hiker and backpacker. And this is Otto, my rescue dog and the absolute best hiking partner. Come join us as we explore the great outdoors, one trail at a time. Come join us for a four day backpacking trip in the heart of the Cane Gorms. This is part one, where we hiked through Larik Kru. And welcome to this video. As you've probably seen in our last videos, Otto and I have been hiking in Scotland for over four weeks now. We've hiked different trails and this is our last adventure for now before going back to Germany. But not for long, I'm going to come back really, really soon to take part in the Great Outdoors Challenge. But for this trip, this is our last hike. And we drove to the Cane Gorms, we're near Primar at Linof D. And I've planned a little four day loop through the Cane Gorms. Um, it's probably going to be around 50 miles, 80 kilometers, something like that. I'm really excited. I've never hiked in the Cane Gorms before, but we're doing a very famous hike. We stay in a bothy, one of the most famous bothies. And yeah, if the weather is nice and if there's not too much snow, we'll also try to climb Ben Magdui uh, in a couple of days. Really, really excited. So let's go. Look at that. This is the River D. Wow, it's so stunning. It already feels so remote. We set off from Lynn of D about half an hour ago, and I think I haven't even told you my plans for the next couple of days yet. It's a hike that has been on my bucket list for so 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 long and I think it's probably one of the most famous hill walking hikes in Scotland and that's the walk through Larig Gru which is a yeah basically a clan and then it goes over a pass which is basically the meaning of Larig if I'm pronouncing that correctly and it yeah it connects Primar and Lynn of D, which is a bit further into the glen with Abbey Moor. So it basically goes through the heart of the Cane Gorms a bit. And you're walking past one of the highest mountains in Britain and past the big Cane Gorm range. I'm really excited. The weather has been dry for a couple of days now, so it should be doable with the rivers not being in spade. I don't know about the snow level yet. Obviously, if there's a lot of snow, we'll turn back, but there probably isn't, but the pass goes uh, quite on high terrain. So it, the top of the pass is at 800 meters. So there still could be snow, I think, probably, but I just don't know what the conditions will be like, but we'll have a look. It's a very remote stretch. It's uh, 20 miles. Uh, through the Glen, through Glen D, and then over the pass towards Avi Moor. So it's uh, not going to be one day for us, but two days. We have a short day today to actually spend the night at another very, very famous place, which is Kohua Bothi, which is one of the probably most famous ones, I think. Um, bothies in Scotland and yeah I've read so much about it and really excited to stay there just in the middle of nowhere in this famous bothy that has been there for over 100 years and yeah just surrounded by mountains that would be so so nice really excited also a bit anxious because it's a lot more like hill walking 
a lot more um, um, mountainous terrain than on our last hikes, um, maybe apart from Glen Africa. But yeah, I'm really excited. I'm just going to try. We can always turn back and yeah, this will be so, so, so nice. And the weather is perfect for it. It should stay mainly dry for the next couple of days with good visibility. So I don't think we'll have any issues um, with like getting lost or yeah, not seeing the path. Yeah, let's go. If you're continuing along this way over the bridge, you're actually getting into Glen Feshi, which is another very uh, popular Glen, popular hike. But we're not doing that now. I'm doing that on my Great Outdoors Challenge in May. But we're turning into Glen D. really really happy that it's not too wet but it really dried up a bit wow look at that this is stunning wow I can't get over how beautiful this is. I'm very, very happy that it's been dry so far, but still the wind is so 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 cold it really doesn't feel like spring yet <laughs> i think it's like seven degrees and with the wind chill probably three four so yeah still very very cold you can't probably see it on camera yet but there's the bothy that's kuhua bothy and Ooh, not long now, maybe just another 20 minutes. And I'm quite happy to get there. It wasn't too long today, but still, as you can see, the path is not always clear. There are a lot of like boulders and boggier sections. So yeah, it was a bit slow going and hard going. I can't wait to get in and set up. I hope it's not full yet, hopefully not. And then yeah, just have a coffee and some snacks and yeah. <laughs> oh, there it is, the bossy. This is our spot for tonight. Let's have a look inside. It's a bit of a smaller bossy, as you can see. There's a sleeping platform that sleeps two or three and then down here obviously and a smaller platform. I think I'm going to take that in case there's a group coming or something and some chairs and that's it. But I just met a mountain leader and apparently there's a small group of people coming a couple of them are camping outside but they brought firewood with them so really really nice i think i'm going to have a really nice fire tonight <laughs>
Good morning everyone. As you can see, it's a beautiful day. It's sunny and blue skies, but the wind is still there and it's very, very, very cold. It was frozen last night. It's only eight o'clock, but Otto and I just set off from the Bossy um, because it was just a lot <laughs> yesterday. There was a school group of 20 people that came in in the evening and it was just yeah a lot of people they were camping outside but still everyone was like in the bossy which i mean i get it <laughs> they had like firewood with them but it was just so 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 loud and crowded and yeah it was it was just a lot and they came in first thing this morning i don't know even um, there were another couple in the bossy with me and even though we were still sleeping they just came in and talking really loud at like 7 p.m. I don't know I feel like they didn't really realize that it's not a private accommodation but yeah they were just I don't know they were just like taking up all the space literally and I don't want to talk like bad about them but it's just weird if someone comes in at seven o'clock if you're still sleeping and just yeah because there's no space and the bossy just sits on your sleeping pad and yeah i don't know it was just a bit weird this is why we left early but it's probably good anyway because i think we have a bit of a longer or harder day ahead of us we are now continuing hiking larik Kru, so basically the pass over to uh, towards abimor and there probably is still snow up there we're now at 550 meters and the pass is at 850 so it's probably with all the snow and the cold weather there's probably still snow there so it's probably slow going and obviously there are also like scree and boulders that you have to navigate but i'm so 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 happy that the weather is dry and we have some amazing views yeah can't wait to see what it's like so let's go Weight off my shoulders Cause I know yesterday ain't coming back mm. I'm gonna let the past stay in the cold I will listen to the ocean Let its unsaid words be spoken And I'll let my mind be carried by the way Ooh, This is such a nice hike It's incredible It's not too challenging It's not overcrowded yeah just just perfect so many beautiful views wow amazing We've made some good progress and hiked for about two hours and I think it's not too far from the highest point of the pass and after that it's all downhill. Look at that, this is just, just incredible how beautiful this is. A lot more boulders up here. quite hard going now. Ooh, these are the pools of D and I think this is basically the source of the river D. Really nice to follow it all the way like from yesterday up into the mountains to its origin.
look at that. I can see Avimor down there. This is the highest point of Larik Kru at 840 meters. And whew, I'm so, so, so proud that we've made it and in such beautiful weather and oh, so happy. It wasn't easy like all the way, but still so, so, so beautiful. I'm so happy. We made it back down into a Glenmore forest and we're almost at Loch Morlik, which is our yeah, stop for lunch and yeah, it's really, I really, really need a break soon and maybe a coffee because this morning has been quite tough. It was really slow going. We've walked for almost five hours now and only covered about 13 kilometers. I just had a coffee break, aka really, really late lunch break. It's almost four o'clock now and I've decided not to hike on, but instead to find a spot to wild camp at the shore of Loch Morlik. Didn't see any sign that it's not uh, allowed to wild camp. And yeah, this is going to be so, so nice just yeah, being at the loch, looking out to the water and having my own little tiny quiet space. I'm a bit tired and I think Otto's tired so yeah if I find something here I yeah, will just set up the tent and give us both a little bit of rest. <laughs> Look at this! This might be my favorite spot to wild camp in a really really long time. It's so beautiful. I have my own little beach and the sun's going to set over there so maybe I'm lucky to catch a sunset. It's still very early so we have a lot of time for a rest. I'm going to have make another coffee and having some sweets and oh, this is so perfect. <laughs> We are ready for bed now. It's half eight and yeah, we had a really, really nice day. I'm so happy that we got to see so many views and yeah, that I found this great little spot to wild camp. But it's been a very, very cold day. Um, it's only about one or two degrees, but with the wind chill, yeah, it's really, really, really cold. Probably one of the coldest days, even with the sun. I'm going to go to sleep into my sleeping bag and with you tomorrow. Good night. This is horrible. I really can't believe that it's snowing so badly. The forecast was for like basically dry. <laughs> and this is really not the day I hoped for. Just fording the river will not be easy, so yeah, I don't know. <laughs>